War came to them. The war came to, their, to them in their villages and their towns. There are instances of child soldiers who were recruited at uh, age four, uh, for instance. So you have four, five, six, seven, ten, and, 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 and uh, thirteen. I work within the United Nations uh, in the North Kivu, uh, where I had the opportunity of meeting child soldiers there. So that was actually the first uh, motivation that I got. So later I registered for a PhD thesis at Rhodes University in South Africa. So I decided to study child soldiers, a female uh, ch former child soldiers in Liberia. Uh, there are three types of roles that they play. They play the role of logistics, where some of them can be carrying load, it may be ammunition and even wounded soldiers. And uh, we have also that, this aspect of uh, intelligence uh, function where uh, they go and gather information. And uh, the third component is uh, that some of them are used as fighters. They fight, they draw fire on the front line. And some of them were uh, subjected to uh, all sorts of inhuman treatment, such as uh, uh, forced sexual activities and so forth. I think policymakers can make use of uh, these findings uh, simply because the way uh, former child soldiers are generally described uh, is not the exacting uh, that uh, obtains when it comes to the empirical realities that are on ground. Let me give you an example of a former child soldier who was telling me during one of uh, 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 interviews that, look, during the war, I was a doctor. I was treating the wounded soldiers. So my desire is to become a doctor after the war. Now, which means that if you want to transform such an individual into a carpenter, then maybe it, that may be a mistake. So which means there is need actually to, to take into consideration some of the skills that they, they gained during the war. Instead of demonizing such skills, but such skills are vital, they are very important for them to be used there should be a kind of transfer of skill or somehow uh, from the war to the society, uh, to the post-conflict society, so that those skills can be used. What they've known is how to draw fire, how to shoot. So it's better actually to have uh, those ones and uh, create a kind of youth academy for them instead of abandoning them to become criminals in the society. The, the ultimate is that they should be able to contribute to their society and make them develop that sense of uh, patriotism whether blind patriotism or constructive patriotism, they should be able to develop that patriotism and contribute gainfully to their society.